Okay, so now we have one hour pass since the time of starting of the stirring. And here you can see how it stirs with the magnetic field. So now we are going to turn it off and put all of these beakers close to each other so we can start comparing them. So you can see first, second, and third secret solutions. And for testing of these solutions, we will need to collect the liquid outside and inside of these semi-permeable membranes. So we prepared uh, the appendors with sign I and sign O on it, so inside and outside. So first, because it's much easier to collect, we're going to collect the outsides of each of the membranes. So to do so, we're going to open the outside row, then take one milliliter pipette, so you can see it here, one milliliter, and transfer the outside of each of the beakers. So here we have the second one, so we transfer it to the 2O Eppendorf. And of course, we are going to change the tip every time we make a collection. So, the outsides of the first secret solution and the outsides of the third secret solution, so you can see it here. So we take one ml and put it into each of these epidurs. So next we are going to collect the insides. So it is the first row. And before we do that, we are going to compare what we have now with, with the conditions that we were put in these semi-permeable membranes. So here, for example, you can see that uh, the volume did not change very much. So we just mix it a little and open the clipper. After that, we are going to take one milliliter of the insides. So we take one milliliter and pour it to the one eye Eppendorf. So now we have the second secret solution and the Eppendorf indicating the insides of the second secret solution.
so as you can see it became a little more in terms of volume so we open the clipper and transfer the inside to the appropriate open door tube Finally we have the third secret solution and as you can see in terms of increasing volume it is the most increased one. So you can go back in the video and see the initial volumes. So we perform the same type of actions so we take one milliliter of this solution and I do mix it before I collect it so this is three inside because we know uh, which solution was reacting with which of the tests we are going to directly add the iodine for example to the first I and first O. The same goes for Benedict's and Bradford's solutions. So okay so again the first first secret solution was reacting with iodine. The second solution was reacting with Bradford, and the third one was reacting with the Benedict solution. Okay, so what we do, we first add the iodine, so again it's 50 microliters, to our first inside and first outside. And when we add it, we can clearly start seeing the sedimentation of the black particles. Unfortunately, it's not very visible on the video, but after some time you will see the sedimented particles here. Second, we transfer the same amount of iodine into the outside solution and see if anything changes there and of course when you compare both of the sides you can actually see that reaction only happened uh, in the inside Eppendorf and nothing has changed in the outsiders. Next we go with the breadboard.
in this case we add 200 to each of the second secret solutions and let it sit for 10 minutes on the bench finally we add the Benedict solution to the third secret solution. And we are going to transfer these tubes to the water bath and let it float there for 10 minutes at 60 degrees. Again, we add both to the insides and the outsides. So we take the foam holder and put it in the water bath. Okay, for now we finished with these test solutions and we can discard them. Okay, so we had 10 minutes passed, and here you can see that the reaction actually happened in the inside tube. In the outside, we don't see much difference. Okay, so again, in the first one, uh, when we added the iodine, again the inside reacted and the outside didn't. The same way happened in the second secret solution. Now we also removed the sample of the third secret solution from the water bath. And here you can see again, so like this. So the insides, they really worked, I mean the reaction happened, while the outsides nothing has changed. Having this result, you will need to make the conclusion, uh, write your thoughts, etc., etc.